Hello everyone, welcome to Paradise Wildlife Park. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be showing you what it takes to be a snow leopard keeper. So let's head down to their habitat and get started. As zookeepers we start our day in the morning at 8 o'clock and the first thing to do as a snow leopard keeper is to head down to the habitat and make sure that the enclosure is nice and secure. So that means checking the locks, making sure they're all locked and also the fencing and the roofing and all the furniture is okay and not damaged. Throughout the day you might see me popping on my mask. This is because if we are in close proximity to our snow leopards we want to make sure that they don't get any diseases or illnesses from us and we keep them nice and safe. So let's meet Jessie and Pandra, our snow leopards. So introducing you to Jessie which is one of our snow leopards here at Paradise. So Jessie is actually eight years old and Pandra who is just in the other side of the enclosure is 11 years old. So there's a bit of an age difference. Um, but they did actually get paired up around five to six years ago and they're a part of the breeding programme so they are a protected species so it's really important that hopefully they will breed one day. But Jessie here she's got some really funny characteristics so she is very confident, she's very inquisitive, she likes to investigate the enrichment first and whatever things new we do in her enclosure. She likes to be the first one there to see what's going on. Panja on the other hand he tends to be a little bit more reserved so he tends to take a little look from quite a distance and then if he knows it's nice and safe and Jesse's checked it out he then does go over to it and investigate as well. So you might have seen on social media all of their lovely cuddling in bed so they do like to cuddle in bed and they are extremely loved up couple but it wasn't always like that so when they were first paired together they didn't quite get along as much as they do now. It was a very rocky relationship. Panji used to jump and pounce down on Jessie and make her jump a lot. But they did actually create a great bond with each other and they have a great relationship. So they tend to zoom around their enclosure and like we've seen, snuggle in bed together and wrap their lovely tails around and have a little spoon. So they are definitely couple goals. So we're going to be heading in and doing some cleaning in our snow leopard's habitat. So I've got my dustpan and brush and bucket, so let's go get some poo. So whilst we're cleaning in this enclosure, you can see around me the habitat tries to mimic the natural environment the snow leopards come to. So behind me we've got all of the rock work, we've got the platforms and we've got the beams which are all on angles. So they do love to jump and run against all of the platforms we have in here. They can actually jump over four metres high, which is really, really high. They use their short legs to push them up um, and it's really fun for them in here. So as well as cleaning our outside habitat from snow leopards, we have to clean their inside dens. They've got four beds to choose from, so we don't clean them all the time every day. We clean them every other day because they do like to leave their fence around in their habitat. But it's nice and cosy in here, so we're going to fluff up the straw and make it look all nice and cosy for them again. So here at the zoo we give our animals lots of enrichment and the snow leopards are no different. So it keeps them nice and stimulated with their natural behaviours. So they like cardboard boxes, different smells of herbs and aftershaves that we spray around the enclosure. But today we have got our brand new Hessian sacks that we're going to fill up with some straw. We're going to spray it with their favourite scents and we're going to see what they do. Okay, so now we're in the snow leopard habitat. I've got my Hessian sack and the straw. I'm going to hang it up on this little platform here. So it is mobile, which is quite good for them. So they're going to have to try and jump up, to smell it and investigate. So it does move around. I'm going to try and put it a little bit higher so maybe it's a little bit more difficult for them as well. So Jessie's probably going to be most interested in this first. She's quite confident. She likes to go into the enrichment and suss it all out. Panda tends to stay quite far away. He likes to see whether it's safe or not to come over. He's a little bit of a wuss, but he gets his confidence in the end. The habitat is nice and secure, so I'm going to let my colleague Josh know to let snow leopards out. Josh, can you let the snow leopards out? Yeah. 
So as you can see, Jessie came over. She used her powerful back legs to jump up onto the sacks and her claws into them as well, rubbing all over. She absolutely loves the scent of peppermint oil. So I think she was trying to get it all over her cheeks. That was nice. Thank you for joining me today and seeing what it takes to be a snow leopard keeper here at Paradise Wildlife Park.